Hello friends, I welcome you all in one more knowledgeable, interesting video. Today in this video, we will going to talk about a newly inserted section in Finance Bill 2023. In this video, we're going to talk about section 80 double C H. Yes, it's a newly inserted section relating to deduction, relating to deduction and section has been introduced as altogether a new section in finance bill 2023. This section talks about deduction in respect of contribution to Agnipat scheme. Yes, Agnipat scheme. If there is any contribution either from the SSE side or from the government side, a deduction is there. Deduction is allowed under section 80 double C H. Right. So it's altogether a new section inserted in finance bill 2023. Interesting aspect of this section is this, that deduction is also available if you law for new tax regime, right? It is, if you are going towards the new tax regime, the government is also pushing so that maximum taxpayer should switch to the new tax regime. Reason being that the government thinks that the new tax regime, there is no scope for tax evasion or there is a lesser scope because there are no scope for claiming the deductions. But this deduction, section 80 double CS deduction is allowable if you claim new tax regime option for filing of your income tax return. So let's see what is there in section. 80 double C H subsection one says that where an assessee being an individual, right? So logically that this benefit is available to an individual only enrolled in the Agnipat scheme, the person or the individual who is enrolled in the Agnipat scheme is only eligible to claim this deduction and subscribe to the Agnivir corpus fund on or after the first day of November, 2022 means the section says that the enrollment, right, and the subscription to the fund was from retrospective effect with effect from 1st day of November 2022. Has in the previous year paid or deposited any sum without any upper ceiling in his account in the said fund, he shall be allowed a deduction in computation of total income of the whole of the amount so paid or deposited means that there is no upper limit, whatever amount has been deposited by the person who is enrollment in the Agni Veer scheme, Agnipat scheme and has subscribed to the Agni Veer corpus fund, then a deduction is allowable to that person. This is for SAC contribution. Section one talks about SAC contribution and subsection two talks about government contribution. If the government is contributing, then also deduction is allowable to the SAC. Where the central government makes any contribution to the account of an SAC in the Agnivir Corpus Fund referred to in subsection 1, the SAC shall be allowed a deduction in computation of his total income of the whole of the amount so contributed. Whatever the government has been contributed to the, to the Agnivir Corpus Fund, the same deduction is also allowable to the SAC. If the SAC is contributing, then the deduction is allowed. If the government is contributing, then also the government's contribution deduction is also allowable under a newly inserted section that is section 80 double C H. Now what is Agnipat scheme? The Agnipat scheme has given in the explanation means the scheme for enrollment in Indian armed forces towards wide letter number this and this dated this and this of the government of India of Ministry of Defense. And what is Agnivir Corpus Fund means a fund in which consolidated contribution of all Agnivirs and matching contribution of the central government along with interest on both these contributions are held, right? Agnivir Corpus Fund means where the contribution of the SSE as well as the equivalent contribution by the central government has been kept along with the interest income generated on the said fund on the said contributions of the SSE and central government also to be kept in the said fund. So this video is all about a newly inserted section introduced in Finance Bill 2023. If you have any queries relating to income tax, then please post your query in the comment box. We'll try to respond to the to your query. If you really like this video, click on the like button. If you have not subscribed to the channel, then please subscribe to it. We will keep coming with a lot of knowledgeable videos relating to income tax and budget 2023 related updates. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Bye.